All the information shared in this video is available on the public platform. Nothing is discussed here which may breach the confidentiality of our armed forces. Defense Detective respects our defense forces and works only on the information that is available for public use. Hello friends. Welcome to another episode of Defense Detective Global. In today's episode, we will talk about how China, the iron brother of Pakistan has insulted it. The insult is so huge that Pakistan had to give an explanation about it. And without naming, Pakistan is blaming India for this and has been saying that China has insulted Pakistan because of India. This is this is a test case for Pakistan. The Chinese view about which order is are and explicitly multilateral forum pe unhone aapko ganda aur nanga karke khada kar di aur Iran ko bula liya. China ke andar ek summit hua. Us summit mein Modi sahab ko bhi invite kiya Xi Jinping ne. Jab important development se related business se related summit hota hai to usme Modi ko Xi Jinping bulate hain Chin ke sadar. Aur Pakistan ke jo dost hain हमारा जो बरादरान हम कहते हैं बड़े तालुकात है हमें कोई घास भी नहीं डालता घास क्यों नहीं डालता इसलिए कि बेगर्स कांट बी चूजर्स दैट्स ट्रू चाइना हैज मेड पाकिस्तान रियलाइज दैट बेगर्स कांट बी चूजर्स नाउ जस्ट इमेजिन हाउ शेमफुल इट इज फॉर पाकिस्तान दैट इट्स क्लोजेस्ट एलाय चाइना होस्टेड अ समिट टू टॉक अबाउट डेवलपमेंट अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड इट इनवाइटेड कंट्रीज लाइक नाइजीरिया एंड सेनेगल एज गेस्ट कंट्रीज but its friend pakistan was left waiting for an invitation and was not invited at all china hi jo high level dialogue hai usko chair kar raha hai to pakistan ko jahan itne aur mamalik ko nigeria aur senegal tak ke bhi mamalik ko madhu kiya hai to pakistan ko kyun chhod diya gaya pakistan jo ke strategic partner hai bri ka bahut hi important us hawale se ke cpac ke flagship जो है प्रोजेक्ट है बीआरआई का वो पाकिस्तान में हो रहा है तो पाकिस्तान को क्यों कर मिस कर दिया गया तो भारत वॉच करता है बड़ा डिलीजेंटली और चाइना को उसने कहा कि हम आप पाकिस्तान को इनवाइट ना करें तो हमें भी थोड़ा बहुत इसमें ये देखना चाहिए कि कहीं वही चीज़ें दोबारा ना हो जाएं पहले जो पहले हुई हैं तो थोड़ा सा डिलीजेंट और विजिलेंट रहने की ज़रूरत है और हम सारे जिंदगी थके नहीं हैं ये कह कह के कि जी स्ट्रोंगर देन आयरन और पता नहीं डीपर देन ओशन एंड स्वीटर देन हनी एंड पता नहीं क्या क्या जो जो हमारे पास एब्जेक्टिव होते थे हमने सारे लगा दिए उसके ऊपर ये है वो पाकिस्तान की आयरन फ्रेंडशिप चाइना के साथ कि वो हमारे पंजाबी में कहते हैं चूना लगाना हमें भी वो बाज नहीं आए वो किसी को भी माफ नहीं करते हम तो फिर पहले पहले गरीब बैठे हुए थे और मैं ये समझता हूँ एंजॉय किया इस चीज को कमर चीमा इज एब्सोल्यूटली राइट इन सेट चाइना हैज एंजॉयड इन सल्टिंग पाकिस्तान Now there is a debate in Pakistan that how did this happen how can china do this to pakistan why china has insulted it it is obvious that people will talk about such a huge insult jeen bhi jab bulata hai to modi sahab ko bulata hai shahbaz sharif sahab ko puchta bhi nahi hai to ye hamari is waqt mulk ki standing hai apni wo kehte hai na apna kad kaath bande ko samajhna chahiye to ye is waqt this is where pakistan stands at the moment china should have invited pakistan अच्छा नहीं बोला है तो हमने फिर जब पता किया तो यहाँ से कहा गया हमें कि जी ऑफिशियल जो जराए थे उन्होंने कहा जी एक्चुअली इसलिए नहीं बुलाया क्योंकि ये ब्रिक्स जो है ये उन्होंने कंसेंसस से बुलाना था ममालिक को जो बाकी आने थे तो इस वजह से नहीं बुलाया यानी कि वो मानते पांचों मुल्क इंडिया समेत तो फिर बुलाए जाते हैं मुल्क को ये I think that Pakistan should not buy this argument. ये बिल्कुल गलत बात है क्योंकि चाइना हमने इस पर खूब पढ़ा है खूब रिसर्च किए चाइना वॉज होस्टिंग दिस इवेंट चाइना होस्टेड दिस इवेंट और पाकिस्तान शुड हैव बीन इन्वाइटेड टू दिस इवेंट और पाकिस्तान शुड रेज दिस विद चाइना नाउ पाकिस्तान कैन कीप आर गोइंग बट चाइना हैज डन वॉट इट हैड टू डू चाइना ऑल्सो नोज अबाउट पाकिस्तान स्टैचर ऑन द वर्ल्ड मैप You must be knowing the organization of the BRICS countries that is Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. Under this banner China hosted the high level dialogue on global development on the sidelines of the 14th BRICS summit on June 24. As the name suggests there were discussions about business and how to work together on development. So overall it was a very important meeting. The heads of all the five BRICS countries were invited in the meeting as well as invitations were sent to around 12 other countries. Since Pakistan is a close ally of China it should have been invited 
but China has played politics here. While Pakistan kept waiting for the invitation, China cocked a snook at it and it didn't invite it at all. Now, look, the story of the story is that India is saying that the Chinese are not calling us. They have given us a shot. They have not seen India. They have not seen India. I have not seen India. I have not seen India. They 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 have not seen India. और अगर हमने झटका दिया तो ये ठीक होंगे मैं इस पर इंडिया को ब्लेम नहीं करूंगा मैं अपने आप को ब्लेम करूंगा मैं पाकिस्तान को ब्लेम करूंगा व्हाट इज द लॉजिक बिहाइंड द लॉजिक बिहाइंड इज के भाई अगर आप इतने जोगे होते आपका इतना डेवलपमेंट क्लाउट होता आपका इतना डिप्लोमेटिक कैपिटल होता तो वो क्यों ना बुलाते आप अभी की ये पोजीशन है उन्होंने कहा ठीक है अगर इंडिया ने हमें कह दिया है कि जी हाँ पाकिस्तान को हमने इसमें नहीं लेके आना ठीक है जी ये मेंबर स्टेट की तरफ से ब्रिक्स के मेंबर स्टेट की तरफ से आ रहा है तो कोई बात नहीं है बट द मैटर इज नॉट जस्ट दिस पाकिस्तान हैज अबिट ऑफ हाइडिंग इट्स फेलियर दिस टाइम टू इट थॉट ऑफ डूइंग द सेम देर वॉज अ लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान टू हाइड इट इट थॉट दैट नो वन इज पेइंग अटेंशन टू दिस मैटर बट एज अर्लियर इट फेल टू हाइड दिस इन साउथ टू The news about this incident was spread from social media to mainstream media after which Pakistan government had to give a clarification Prime Minister of India Mr Narendra Modi who was invited by Chinese president Xi Jinping participated in the summit on 24 June but the people of Pakistan came to know on 27 June with the help of social media that China did not invite Pakistan in such an important meeting Kamran Yusuf a Pakistani journalist who is an anchor in Express News and writes for many Pakistani newspapers including the Turkish website TRT World. He tweeted that Pakistan has confirmed that a member of the BRICS, here India is written in the bracket. We will explain later why it is written in the bracket. It is written that this country has blocked Pakistan's invitation to the high-level development dialogue hosted by China on June 24. Now the Pakistan government did not want this secret to be open. But when it got leaked, it was compelled to give a statement on the matter. This is an article on Pakistan's news website, The News, published on 27th June. It is written in its heading that Foreign Office confirms Pakistan's participation in BRICS summit was blocked by a member. It is also written below that Pakistan was not invited to the summit due to India, who is a member of BRICS. The complete statement of Pakistan's Foreign Office has been published in the article, which states that China being the host country engaged with Pakistan before the BRICS meeting, where decisions are taken after consultations with all members of the BRICS countries, including extending invitations to non-members. Regrettably, one member blocked Pakistan's participation. Pakistan's Foreign Office did not name India anywhere in this entire statement, but the Pakistani media has directly blamed India for this. Pakistan's Foreign Office did give a statement, but it also got insulted for it. It seemed as if the statement was given fearfully. Such a big incident happened, but Pakistan's Foreign Office didn't name India anywhere. That's why Pakistani journalist Kamran Yusuf had written India's name in bracket. So the statement of Pakistan's Foreign Office has also become a joke. Abdul Basit, who was a diplomat of Pakistan and has been the High Commissioner of Pakistan in India, has a good hold on foreign policy and understands such matters deeply. He has labelled the statement of Pakistan's Foreign Office as childish. Today, the press release is also very apologetic. We also remember that we are in G77 plus China in this time in New York. उसके बावजूद भी और ये डेवलपमेंट ग्लोबल डेवलपमेंट के हवाले से ये हाई लेवल डायलॉग था तो पाकिस्तान का ना होना समझ में नहीं आता लेकिन भारत और पाकिस्तान के दरमियान जो पॉलिटिक्स है वो तो बहरल है ही है और मैं समझता हूँ कि रादत दिन ये प्रेस रिलीज़ इशू करने के सिर्फ सोर्सेस के तहत एक कहानी हो जाती तो ज़्यादा बेहतर होता रादत दिन पूरा एक प्रेस रिलीज़ ही इस मामले पर आप लोगों ने इशू कर दिया और वो कोई इतना इस अच्छा सही कोई ड्राफ्टेड प्रेस रिलीज नहीं है मेरे हिसाब से। Now the question is, why did China listen to India? China is already having a strong dispute with India for the last two years. Despite this, China accepted India's words and insulted its iron friend Pakistan. But why China did so? We will not answer it. Listen to it from Kamar Chima, a political analyst of Pakistan. मुझे ये बताया ना कि आप चाइना और इंडिया की दोस्ती ज्यादा है कि पाकिस्तान और इंडिया की दोस्ती ज्यादा है पाकिस्तान और चाइना की दोस्ती ज्यादा है इन चाइना को नहीं पता कि हमसे 97 बिलियन डॉलर की इंडियंस इंपोर्ट्स करते हैं चाइनीज को समझ नहीं आती है कि हम सिर्फ सतानवे अरब डॉलर 97 बिलियन डॉलर तो हम सिर्फ इंडिया से लेते हैं इन टर्म्स ऑफ हम जो एक्सपोर्ट भेजते हैं उनको पाकिस्तान क्या लेता है सिर्फ डिमांडें 
कि हमें ये दो अरब डॉलर दे दो हमें ये तीन अरब डॉलर दे दो हमें ये कर दो चाइना ने पाकिस्तान को ना बुला के बेसिकली जो है वो पाकिस्तान को तोल देता है और ए खलोते हो इन्ना वजन है थोड़ा इन्नी डूगी थोड़ी साड़ी पार्टनरशिप है ठीक है तो इन्नी मिठी पार्टनरशिप है What has happened with Pakistan is also a test case because this platform of BRICS countries is not a minor platform. It is a group that is dictating the world. This is a group that is more powerful than any other organization in the world. How is it so? We will explain it to you through data. If we talk about the area on the world map of the BRICS countries, then they have about 3 crore 97 lakh 46 thousand 220 square kilometers of land. In simple language. About 27% of the total land available in the world is with these five countries. Similarly, if we talk about the population, then the population of these five countries is about 3.21 billion, which is about 41.5% of the world's population. According to the data of the year 2018, the nominal GDP of these five countries is about 20 trillion dollars, which is about 23% of the world's nominal GDP. If we talk about combined GDP PPP, it is 41 trillion dollars. That is 32% of the world's combined GDP PPP base. Talking about the foreign reserve, these five countries together have a foreign reserve of about 5 trillion dollars. So in terms of economy, in terms of market, in terms of development, in terms of business, in terms of education, there is no bigger platform than this and Pakistan has been kept away from it. And no one else, but China is the one to keep Pakistan away. the same china whom pakistan is not tired of calling its closest ally the same china insulted pakistan if it wanted it could have invited pakistan despite india's objection but it did not do it intentionally because china knows what is the status of pakistan on the world map acha phir humse ye kaha gaya ke pakistan ke dekhe pakistan kitne bure halon mein iqtisadi taur pe har ek ek cheez hum cheen se mang rahe hain unse mange tange se jo guzara hota hai unse leke kar rahe hain is waqt ठीक है बट ये इट डजेंट मीन के वेन थिंग्स आर डाउन एंड डिफिकल्ट फॉर पाकिस्तान के चाइना कैन ईजली इग्नोर एंड नॉट गिव पाकिस्तान वॉट इज इट्स ड्यू एट अ फोरम लाइक दिस ये चाइना को पाकिस्तान को बुलाना चाहिए था वेल नाउ वट एवर हैडी हैपन इफ इंडिया हैज डन इट देन इट इज ऑल्सो द रिजल्ट ऑफ पाकिस्तान एक्शन इन द पास्ट बिकॉज इंडिया हैज नॉट फॉर that in 1969 when the islamic summit was held in morocco king faisal of saudi arabia had invited india then pakistan managed to get india out of the first oic plenary india cannot forget that in 2006 when king abdullah bin abdul aziz of saudi arabia came to india he had asked pakistan to propose to make india an observer in the oic that is organization of islamic countries but pakistan opposed this and refused how can india forget that in the year 2019 When Pakistan decided to boycott the meeting on the proposal to invite India as a guest of honor to the OIC meeting, India went to it despite Pakistan's opposition. Just imagine that if you continuously lay thorns in someone's path and think that they should lay a bed of roses for you, then it is a sheer stupidity. If China did not invite Pakistan to the meeting at the behest of India, then Pakistan should understand what is the future of its friendship with China. Friends, hope you have liked this episode of Defense Detective Global. Please like and share it and give your opinions in the comment section. Also please subscribe to the channel so that you can regularly get such informative videos. We will be back soon with another episode. Till then goodbye. Jai Hind.